Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today we're gonna make some uh, cream cheese and spinach wraps. And what I'd like to do is, I'm gonna do a little bit of a couple different things, but to start with, we're gonna do a black truffle cream cheese with the spinach, it's delicious. And so, um, kind of, it's basically the same as how I did the black truffle salt. So I've got my little spice grinder, and it's just a coffee grinder. It does an okay job. Um, and I fill that cup pretty full with the wild mixed wild mushrooms, and that gives it that earthy flavor that you want. And where's the lid? There it is. Okay, you just grind those up. There's chunks in there. There you go. Let's see how that is. A little mushroom smoke. I might mix it one more time. Okay. And then I have my Philly cream cheese. These are reduced third. Uh, it's a third less fat. Um, trying to be a little healthy. And so I'm going to get that in my mixer. Put that in my mixing bowl here. Let me grab a spatula. Mm. We let this set out at room temperature. And there you go. I'm going to do two of these. I'm doing these for the girls at work. And so. Um, they actually made a bunch of that truffle salt and it's pretty much flying off the shelf. And so I thought I'd make some of these wraps so they can actually taste it. And uh, yeah. Okay. Love Philly cream cheese. So good. So good. And it, it, you know, it, until you open it, it lasts forever, so. All right. Now that we have that in there, we're going to go ahead and put our mushrooms in. And it's just a powder. It's probably three tablespoons of mushrooms. And then we need our black truffle oil. And our black truffle salt. Let's measure out some salt here. Let's see, can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm gonna start with a teaspoon of the black truffle salt. I don't want to get it too salty, I can't take it back out. Same with the black truffle oil. I'll start with We'll start with a teaspoon because this is a, uh, ex it's, I'm making this up as I go. If it's a winner winner, we'll have it all the time. I know it'll be delicious. I just want to make sure I don't over season because it is a, a really strong aromatic flavor. And we're going to turn our mixer on. Make sure that you can wipe down the sides. Might add some, oh yeah. And we'll do a little first taste test. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's really, really good. Oh, it's everything I thought it was going to be. Oh my gosh. Because a lot of people ask me, well, what can you do with black truffle? What would you use it in? And it's like, let me count the ways. Anything that's aromatic or that you like aromatics in, it's full 
a flavor. So a little bit goes just a really long ways. And I'm going to add some sour cream to loosen it up. So maybe mm, half, half a cup for, or actually it's probably closer to a third of a cup, for the 16 ounces of the cream cheese. And then whip that up. Who doesn't like whipped cream cheese? Put your hand down. Ah. Oh. Yum. Okay. Now we need to test it for real. A little bit. Mm. It's got plenty of salt because you know the cheese has salt in it so I'm glad I didn't do more than a teaspoon that was plenty but I think it needs just a tad more oil. I'm gonna add about oh yeah we'll just stick with a half a teaspoon of the black truffle oil we can always add more we can't take it out. Mm. Okay, now scrape your sides down while you're in there so everything gets some because that's a little bit of oil to go everywhere. Back down. good to me. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get set up to do the wraps and I'll bring you right back. And let's get a close up of what that looks like for you. Wish I had a cameraman. Honey, get me a close up of that. <laughs> okay, be right back. To assemble these wraps and oh, I'm telling you this is so good so it's really easy um, these are gonna be pretty much uh, just assemble really and it's just an idea you guys nice cool um, summer lunch I'm actually doing this backwards I leave one end uh, where it's not all the way to the end of the cream with the cream cheese because it'll push out. So I'm going to turn that one around. And I decided I'm going to do spinach, but I also decided to, um, because this is going to be healthy and delicious. So we got spinach, and I thought, why not cucumber? I've got cucumber. Why not? I want to get rid of that spot. So we're just going to really shave it down. I don't need a big chunk of cucumber in this, but I do a cucumber salad that I do this with. And so we're just gonna add a little, another layer and dimension of flavor in this. Doesn't have to be a lot. But these English cucumbers are wonderful. I have cucumbers coming in the garden. And then you're just going to take your clean hands, smash your spinach, and you're going to roll it. Just like a cigar. And hopefully these stay together. There we go. So if you do need an extra cream cheese on the edge there, you can do that. But these are going to make wonderful little snacks. And I'm just going to cut them in nice little pinwheels. Mmm. Yum. Oh my gosh. You might want to use a serrated knife. 
So you get through the, um, it's like a pita bread almost. You get through that breading or tortilla, whatever you use, a little bit faster without smashing it so they stay pretty. Now you could put chicken or turkey or, I'm gonna leave these vegetarian. Um, and the ends are mine. <laughs> Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Wow. That is really, really good. So, hope it inspires you. I'm going to go get a carrot, and I'm actually going to add some carrots to the mix as well. And, um, there you go. Quick, easy, healthy, delicious, interesting flavor combination. It just is absolutely exactly what the doctor ordered on a hot day. Great snack. So I hope it inspires you. I hope it brings you back. And I truly hope, you guys, that if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and post it on your Facebook page, Google Plus or Twitter. All right, see you next time. God bless.